Hi everyone, welcome to The Nose Knows. It's Daniel. We are doing another fragrance review today. And this is a classic from the House of Chanel, Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette. We're not gonna do the Eau de Parfum because the Eau, the Eau de Parfum is it's not good. This is the original. This one is from 1955. It was the first men's scent that Chanel made. It smells amazing. <laughs> and um, so in I, the early 90s, I want to say, I'm just kind of guessing here, they came out with a Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette Concentre. Not the same thing. Added different notes, it was nuttier, it was spicier, it was stronger. Then kind of recently, they changed the Eau de Toilette Concentre to Eau de Parfum, which is was basically the same thing. They might have like tweaked a few notes, but it smells basically the same to me. You don't want that. You want this. This is the Eau de Toilette from 1955. It's like number five for guys. It's that classic. It's that good. It's that kind of legendary, even though it's really under the radar. What's in this scent? What makes it so special? Top notes, lemon verbena, neroli orange, very fresh burst of citrus. In the middle notes, very light middle notes, not a lot of body. Cardamom, basil, ginger, and uh, coriander. On the base notes, and I'm told this is what makes it such a special scent, is oak moss, key ingredient, and cedarwood. So I've read a little bit, I haven't like researched this intensely about oak moss, but I've heard that it's not, you, you can't use oak moss in scents anymore. I don't know, there's all these things. I don't read into it, I just like to smell stuff. Chanel is so fanatical about their ingredients and about the production of their scents and the quality and consistency that they are really good at finding either synthetics or finding other notes that they blend together to basically get the same smells. This is like such a manly scent while being so classic. It's like a guy in the suit in the 1950s, perfectly tailored with that clean pocket square. The sprayer doesn't give that much. It's sort of like a burst. Spray it all over my shirt. It's great. Really good. It gets a rating of really good. Definitely get the Eau de Toilette because it's classic, it's way better. They've made it like nuttier and like spicier. It kind of smells the same, but that like freshness and that oak mossy like uh, isn't there anymore. And it's much more like, it reminds me of like a guy in like a top hat almost. It's just so like, hello, I am Lord Chancellor. It's like, no girl, let's do this one. I feel like anyone can wear it. It's 2017, people do whatever they want. There's no rules about if you're like 18, you can't wear a certain scents. Like wear what you're gonna wear. If you like it, it smells good, you feel like it, it works with your personality and your image, wear the damn scent. Some people get so wrapped up in like, oh, uh, I think this is for 30 up or 26 up. Like 26 is its defining age. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> if you like it, wear it. Those are my thoughts on the gorgeous for Monsieur Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette, gorgeous scent. I'm ready to start my day. I got my coffee, got my fragrance. Let's go. Bye.